you think you are You put your name in a paper ad Under the classified section cars Sometimes I think it's all in your head So much for love, but we don't care We're feeling fine and it's all okay The sleepless nights and the pouring rain Don't you fight it, don't you waste your time Take a second to realize your shine Hello, welcome to Underkill TV. I'm here with Gun, who are on the November tour of the UK. Hello guys, welcome to the show. How you doing, you alright? If you could all introduce yourselves and what you do in the band. I am Gordon, I play drums. I'm Dante and I play bass guitar. I'm Toby and I sing. I am Joe and I play guitar. Guys, it's um, it's absolute pleasure to have you here in Wales because I've never seen the band before and as I was telling Toby before the start of the interview, I'm sort of more looking forward to seeing Gun than like we we done an interview with Duff McKagan last sort of week, and I'm more looking forward to seeing Gun because I've never seen you guys play before, so it's an absolute pleasure to come and see you play Wales. Thank you, thank you. Uh, so obviously the reunion's going really well, uh, well with the new singer and everything like that. Uh, you've got a new EP out. Can you tell us a bit about that? What's the EP called? It's called Pop Killer. It was uh, just recorded about two months ago, and it just came out last week. And, uh, let's get five tracks on. It's a mini album. Uh, can you get the, uh, for those that can't get to the live sort of shows, Danny, can you get the album off the internet? Yes, you can buy it from www.gunofficial.co.uk, I think that's what it is, yeah. Yep. Um, and then I think it'll be ready for download sometime, not too distant future. Excellent stuff. Obviously, Toby, with the new album as well, uh, one thing I've noticed from your solo shows as well, from the last couple of years when you were supporting Thunder, obviously you play guitar a lot. On the new stuff now, do you will you be playing guitar on a lot of the live stuff as well? Yeah, I play I, I play um, guitar on on like I think five tunes live, just to add a little bit of you know a little bit of grit to to the to the background. But um, but but I'm I'm really re actually really, really enjoying being a frontman again. It's it's been it's because I also I actually think the best rock bands that have ever been in many ways are three three piece rock bands. You know, one guitar, one bass, and drums. You know, and then with a, with a great singer, you know, Van Halen and police or any of these great bands so it's actually a great opportunity just to, just to be a singer you know so excellent stuff and Jules how, how many songs off the new uh, the new EP will you be doing tonight <laughs> we're playing three songs off of the new EP and and this uh, um, pop killer um, Serafina and let your hair down um, so that's the song you know that's the songs we'll be playing on us Excellent stuff, and also you guys have also got the um, the Hard Rock Hell coming up now. And is it next weekend? I think it is. Is it? Yeah, next. I think it's next Friday. Um, I think we're on it. I think it's seven o'clock in the evening um, on the Friday. Yeah, we're on to start. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I've heard uh, a lot of good reports about it. Pretty pretty good festival. Have you? Uh, I'm going to be wearing my yellow coat for it. I think. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> holiday camp. <laughs> uh, the other thing as well, um, obviously with the new EP coming out, will there be any chance of a, a new Gun album, Toby? Um, well, I, th I think the, I think the plan at the moment is just to sort of see how this mini album goes. I mean, it's, it's strange really because when we set off at the beginning of the year, I don't think we all intended to do quite so many gigs, but the promoters have really encouraged us to go out and play, and we've had a great reaction from the, from the promoters, not only in the UK but across Europe so we've been sort of we've been playing um, I think we've been in five or six countries this year with some Portuguese stuff and some Spanish stuff etc so um, we, we always intended sort of next year once the, this mini album was put out was to use next year as a kind of like the, the pop killer campaign um, but that doesn't mean to say we won't write some more stuff and possibly record some more stuff and you know the way that music's sold now is so different you know, people. I mean, in many ways, I, I, you know, I've read lots of times now in Q and all these big mags that a lot of artists are saying that they think the album format's dead in many ways because people can choose what they want to listen to, how they listen to it, when they listen to it, and all that. So, 
I think, you know, I mean, I think, I think the rest of the guys will agree that we just want to see how this goes, do a bit more recording. I think we have that that sort of facility because um, we've all got the studios and, and we, we feel we, it wants to emerge at its own pace, you know, without the pressure of a record company behind us and, you know, banging on our door to sort of make the next record and all that. You know, we're more than happy just to sort of do it when we feel good about it. Excellent stuff. Um, also, going, how many um, uh, songs is the set contain? Like, how how long a set will you do on the night? I think we're about an hour and a half. Maybe a wee bit more than that. So it's probably 15, 16, 17 songs. Really, as many as that? Yeah. Depending on how many guitar strings, <laughs> bass strings we snap, or drum skins that we break. Oh yeah, <laughs> we have done that on the tour. Mm. One thing uh, I noticed when I heard on the on the, the band's MySpace, which for those at home don't know where the gun MySpace is, you can get it right here. One thing I did notice about the... <laughs> it will be there, it will be there. <laughs> One thing I did notice... Oh, it's all right, you carry... <laughs> One thing I did notice uh, after hearing, I think it was uh, the first song you hear is uh, Let Your Hair Down, um, up to the bridge, straight away, it's almost like instantly you can tell that's the gun sound straight away on the bridge of that song and I mean I know what it's like when a band changes a singer everyone's like oh yeah well the singer sounds nothing like the old singer and if they try to sound like the, oh well, he's trying to sound like the same singer but I mean regardless of what the singer gun to me was always about the music and it sounds very much exactly like the, the style I expected when I when I put the CD you know when I played the songs off the internet thank you yeah I, I, I think that was kind of um, thing that we were kind of concerned about you know because obviously there's still a lot of fans out there still you know that uh, gun die hard fans and and the kind of you know even previous to the previous to recording the album we had done some shows and stuff like that where these guys had came along to and it's like what do you think you know it's nice to get an impression of what these people think you know what the next gun sort of uh, EP or album should sound like you know but you know, for me, I think it was very important to make it, you know, for, for all of us, I think it was, you know, to make it quite contemporary. Obviously, it can't sound like Gun 1989, you know, you know, but, the, but, but I think the nucleus of the songs are there, the ideas, the melodies are really strong, the guitar parts and stuff like that. And I think it's just bringing it to 2009, and I think we've done that, you know, exactly we, we, we wanted it, you know, we planned it, and I think it's worked it really well. Okay, one question I wanted to ask you, Jules. Um, obviously, Steve Harris was the reason I got into Gun. I read an interview with him, being a massive fan. Has he seen the the new lineup? Um, he's not seen the new lineup, but um, a few people I've spoke to um, in London, uh, the London show, said that he was um, that he was, he was loved to come and see. He's always been a big big fan of Gun, you know, and uh, and you know, as I said, he hasn't seen the set yet. But I mean, I'm sure he'll get. We'll get a chance to to um, to get in catches, you know. Maybe I think there's gigs already coming in for next for next year. So there'll be one point that that um, will come along. We saw his girls, his daughters band playing. Uh, uh, I think it was you were ago and stuff, and 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 she was telling her dad that she was coming to, you know, that gun were coming down, and I think we went up. Tobe and I went up and played. Uh, still your fire with her, you know, long and, and uh, but she had to just say, you know, my dad knew you guys were coming down and he sends all his love and stuff like that. He's he's such a brilliant guy, just uh, such a down to earth, amazing guy, you know, just you know and, and you know, we just sort of are really honoured that he that he that he loved gun, you know, sort of a his iron maiden and gun, completely two different but he just he just loved it, absolutely loved it and Got me playing in his football team and stuff that he got, you know. So, so no, he's, he's a great lad, great lad. Excellent stuff. The other thing uh, that I was going to say about that was when I saw Lauren play about three years ago, I'd never heard no back catalogue of her. I just went to the show, the Answer show. She was supporting the Answer, and I was like, wow, she's playing Steel Your Fire. That must be some honour for you, that way, to you, somebody covering a gun song. No, it's great. I think it's <coughs> it's, it's really nice. Um, Fortunately enough, I didn't get down to see the guys and um, perform it with her on stage, but apparently it was really, really good. So, yeah, next time she's um, in town playing, I'll definitely go and see her, especially to see her playing Steal Your Fire. Maybe I'll get up and sing as well. 
<laughs> Excellent stuff. Well, guys, thank you very, very much for your time. Uh, those that are planning to check the band out, check them out. It's Gun. They're back. Please log on to the website. Check them out here. I'm Alistair, and this has been Underkill TV. Stay tuned, because we're going to give you a chance to win some signed gun goodies, OK? Thank you very much. OK, guys, so you to win those goodies, um, I'm going to ask you a question. Um, and the question is, what was the first single from Gun's debut album.